This is how to break free from narcissistic chains using silence. Greetings, everyone. Thank you for joining us on our channel once again. I'm grateful for your presence. Today, we'll be exploring the impactful nature of silence when it speaks louder than words. If you find the content resonating with you, feel free to express it by liking, subscribing, and sharing. I frequently delve into the significance of silence, especially in the aftermath of relationships with narcissistic individuals or upon realizing you're entangled with someone toxic, perhaps a narcissist. Your decision to remain silent becomes a source of empowerment. After navigating through relationships with narcissists, many individuals reach a point of indifference, a peak where the narcissist and their associates lose their significance. Despite the narcissist's relentless efforts to break us, they fail spectacularly as they'd often do in their pursuits. In essence, your silence carries more weight than your words. Mastering the art of maintaining silence and managing your energy is crucial, particularly considering the emotional turbulence experienced during your relationship with the narcissist. You endured various forms of abuse, spanning from physical and emotional to financial and spiritual. During that relationship, you may not have fully grasped the nature of the battle you were facing. Frequently, you found yourself justifying your actions to the narcissist, whether consciously or unconsciously. Emotional manipulation, extreme highs, and deep despair were constant companions. These experiences are characteristic of narcissistic behavior. Stability, peace, and mutual understanding are scarce in such relationships. Instead, you encounter manipulation, half-truths, blatant lies, misdirection, and an array of abusive traits, including gaslighting, smear campaigns, silent treatments, stonewalling, and fits of rage. You've undergone challenges that many may find difficult to comprehend. Yet, this was your reality, and it continues to be. I hope you've reached that point of indifference, severed ties with the narcissist, and distanced yourself from them and their associates. If you've accomplished this, well done. If not, it's completely understandable. Take the time you need. Eventually, you'll take the necessary steps to protect yourself, and silence will undoubtedly play a crucial role. Before we move forward, here's a gentle reminder. If complete disconnection isn't feasible, consider implementing the Grey Rock strategy. Make yourself uninteresting and avoid drawing the narcissist's attention. However, always bear in mind that your silence carries a depth far beyond your spoken words. Throughout your relationship, you often found yourself in a defensive position, navigating emotional extremes. Recall instances when you diligently prepared for an event, perhaps a holiday, being punctual as usual. However, the narcissist, with the intention of making a grand entrance, purposefully delayed, keeping you waiting for hours despite promises of imminent readiness. Upon their eventual appearance, they nonchalantly acted as if such delays were normal, expecting you to endure the wait. While there is a concept of being fashionably late, the relevance diminishes in the context of understanding narcissism. The term itself is antiquated, and the motive behind it often revolves around seeking attention. The narcissist's calculated tardiness aimed to secure an audience, positioning them as the focal point. Their deliberate late arrival wasn't about being fashionably late, but rather a strategic move to ensure a larger audience, fulfilling their craving for attention. Although seemingly trivial, this aspect of their behavior holds undeniable accuracy. I encourage you to share your reflections on this if it strikes a chord with you. The power of your silence surpasses the impact of your spoken words. Reflect on the times when you were repeatedly defending and justifying yourself, confronting the narcissist's inappropriate conduct. In response, they would typically shift blame, dismissively criticize, urge you to move on, or even bring up an old mistake from your distant past. Narcissists lack introspection and accountability, refusing to acknowledge any perceived inferiority while positioning themselves as superior to others. Their sense of entitlement leads them to expect idolization and service from those around them with the intention of draining energy and causing destabilization. Now, why does your silence hold such significance? It's because non-engagement, embracing a state of radio silence, proves to be remarkably effective. Imagine encountering a narcissist at an event, not necessarily an ex-partner, but a newly identified one. 
Armed with wisdom, you no longer engage in trivial conversations or interactions with such individuals. You acknowledge their presence with a nod and gracefully transition to conversations with like-minded individuals. The narcissist, however, will attempt to disrupt your energy as they strongly dislike the impact of silence. For this discourse, there exist two aspects that narcissists strongly disdain. The initial one is the utterance of the word no. When you express a refusal to someone or something, it signifies a commitment to yourself. In the course of your association with the narcissist, uttering no was strictly prohibited, almost considered taboo. Deploying this term would instigate a burst of anger, result in the withholding of intimacy, blame shifting, or even instances of gaslighting. The notion of hearing no is repugnant to narcissists. They yearn for affirmatives. They seek a compliant pawn, a puppet, an anonymous executor, someone subservient. Their preference is for an unpaid assistant, essentially a walking apology. They exhibit an intolerance for individuals who assert themselves. Your silence articulates on your behalf, possessing greater potency than verbal communication, primarily because meaningful dialogue with a narcissist is unattainable. It was unattainable in the past, persists as such in the present, and will endure. Bear in mind that narcissists manifest in diverse manifestations. They can be of any gender, from various geographical locations, speaking different languages. They permeate various spheres. It's only when you acquire wisdom, enforce no contact, block these individuals, conserve your energy, establish boundaries, and embrace silence, that you begin to perceive their true nature. Internalize this crucial insight. Your silence genuinely holds the power of a superpower. Suppose you find yourself in a situation with some toxicity during an event not necessarily directed at you. You might contemplate addressing the inappropriate conduct directly, but it could be wiser to merely observe, listen, and internally identify the toxic individual, presumably a narcissist, and the unwitting victim. While intervening is an option, I would counsel against it. Prioritizing your well-being is paramount. Even attempting to intercede might not yield favorable outcomes. The victim might align with the narcissist, potentially making you a target. Instead, focus on yourself or maintaining a watchful eye. Embrace silence, embodying a stoic and composed demeanor. Live in the present moment, applying lessons learned from past narcissistic relationships to your current circumstances. Steer clear of foreseeing the future. Concentrate on the present. In these video presentations, I have deliberately employed specific phrases and comments for their deliberate resonance. Today's message might not directly resonate with you, but in the ensuing months, it likely will. Upon revisiting this video later, you'll discern the profound meaning it conveys. Your silence acts as a silent narrator, reflecting on your experiences with the narcissist. You found yourself consistently addressing challenges, providing support, and elevating them, all at the expense of your own well-being. Living behind a facade, you believe that communicating your perspective and dissatisfaction to the individual in question would yield positive results. However, by doing so, you inadvertently accomplished several outcomes. Firstly, you supplied the person with narcissistic traits. Secondly, you disclose your thoughts to them. Thirdly, your lack of knowledge about narcissism prevented you from identifying their traits. Fourthly, you depleted your own energy. And fifthly, you offered the narcissist further insight into how to exploit you. Questions lingered about potential beslighting, whether they would let you exhaust yourself explaining, or if they would resort to blaming, verbal abuse, thing listening, and financial requests. Their tactics remained unpredictable, yet their watchful eyes observed you throughout the entirety of the relationship. This scrutiny might even extend to the implementation of the Hoover Technique, which will be expounded upon shortly. In essence, your silence serves as a powerful tool, especially when you gain understanding and leverage the resources within this community. The significant power your silence holds is something that the individual with narcissistic tendencies vehemently dislikes. The narcissist grapples with mere existence. Reflect on a scenario, envision a moment when you were seated, possibly beside the individual in question, watching a Netflix show or a movie. What occupied the narcissist's attention during this time? Chances are, 
They were engrossed in one of their free smartphones, casually instructing you to press play and assuring you they would catch up later. Despite being physically close, you likely experienced an overwhelming sense of isolation. This was because they were not investing quality time with you. Instead, their focus was on their smartphone. Actively seeking alternatives to you and identifying new targets. While they laughed, inquiries about their amusement would be met with dismissive responses, urging you to continue watching the movie. In confusion, you might observe them texting someone unfamiliar. This dilemma leaves you with a challenging choice. Confront them, risking a potential explosive reaction, or continue watching the movie, unable to concentrate due to the continuous laughter of the narcissist beside you. These are the complex situations engineered by individuals with narcissistic traits, creating an environment with no favorable outcome. Consequently, the most prudent approach is to disentangle yourself from such relationships and recognize that maintaining your silence is the optimal response. Your ability to stay emotionally detached from these individuals serves as the path forward. Life inevitably subjects us to tests and challenges. If you've undergone a relationship with a narcissist, you can fully grasp the significance of these statements. Armed with knowledge and equipped with tools, you now acknowledge the value of your energy, time, and resources. You realize that your life's journey is uniquely yours, and it is not someone else's prerogative to dictate your actions, schedule, or companions. You should not bear the burden of an endless list of chores, such as grocery shopping and buying weekly necessities, only to face criticism for your choice of products sending you back to the store multiple times. Your time consistently faces disrespect. Despite potential hopes for the narcissist to change, or the belief that discussing and reasoning could alter their behavior, engaging in such endeavors only provides them with additional information and ammunition to unleash toxicity on you and others. When given the chance, your silence becomes a powerful communicator, especially when recognizing the fundamental shallowness, anxiety, and weakness inherent in the narcissist. The narcissist relies on others believing in their facade, admiring them, and falling under their influence. It's essential to bear in mind that narcissists lack the capacity for genuine love. Devoid of love and empathy, they maneuver through the world, manipulating and deceiving people into succumbing to their false persona. Now, turn your attention to the concept of hoovering. If you find yourself currently experiencing it or have dealt with it before, it's crucial to resist succumbing to it. In simple terms, hoovering is a tactic employed by narcissists when they are running low on narcissistic supply. It involves testing the waters of the relationship, assessing your healing progress, or attempting to pull you back into another cycle of abuse. Their ultimate objective is to infiltrate your thoughts without contributing any emotional sustenance. Individuals still ensnared in the trauma bond are particularly susceptible to hoovering. This vulnerability stems from their lack of comprehension of the narcissistic abuse cycle, leaving them ensnared in a trauma bond they might not even recognize. Crucially, they are unaware of how they became entangled in this state, often a result of the manipulative tactics employed by the narcissist. The narcissist adeptly subjects their targets to emotional highs and lows, creating an environment of instability that solidifies the trauma bond. The purpose behind hoovering is to entice individuals back into the relationship, even if only temporarily. However, it's imperative not to acquiesce to the hoover. Doing so sends a signal to the narcissist that you haven't undergone healing. Remain open to reigniting the relationship or are receptive to their empty promises. The words of the narcissist carry no substance. They will articulate anything, driven by desperation or not, to persuade others of their alleged transformation newfound redemption, or readiness to love again. They may even assert they sought professional help and experience healing. It's crucial to grasp that the narcissist is fundamentally resistant to change. If you entertain the notion that they can transform, reconsider. They lack the willingness and capability to confront the pain stemming from their past actions, the lives they've shattered, relationships and families they've dismantled, and the parental alienation and financial abuse they've inflicted. The narcissist perpetuates a cycle of destruction, akin to a solitary wrecking ball annihilating everything in its path. This destructive pattern propels them to perpetually seek new sources of supply, rapidly depleting the old ones, 
It's essential to remember that at some point, both you and I served as the narcissist's new sources of supply. However, as previously emphasized in one of my earlier videos, we transcend mere supplies. We are empaths radiating warmth and kindness, embodying abundance and love for ourselves and those we cherish. Before gaining insights into narcissism, the assumption was that most people shared our values and perspectives. Regrettably, they do not, they cannot, and they never will. This encapsulates the essence of a narcissist, an individual striving to dim your radiant light and drain your energy. They fear your silence because their sustenance relies on the energy drawn from others. Narcissistic supply manifests in both positive and negative forms. In my unwavering perspective, narcissists derive heightened pleasure from negative supply. Ensnaring a vibrant and abundant individual like yourself, mentally confining you within the trauma bond throughout the relationship becomes a source of continuous supply for them. Observing your struggles, defensive efforts and questioning of their behavior provides them with satisfaction, fueling their insatiable appetite. To narcissists value positive supply? Undoubtedly. They yearn for attention, adoration and perfection in their external image, desiring to be the focal point of everything. However, the essence of this discourse lies in the fact that narcissists resist your silence. They do not wish for you to gain insights into the cycle of narcissistic abuse, break free from the trauma bond or embark on a healing journey. They do not want you to close the chapter on them. Instead, their goal is to keep the door slightly open leaving you susceptible to potential hoovering attempts, whether in a month, six months, a year, or even decades later. The narcissist perpetually believes they maintain a hold over you. This belief stems from their capability to ensnare you in a state previously unbeknownst to you, the trauma bond or the fog of narcissistic manipulation. They execute this intentionality, perhaps not anticipating your eventual liberation, but if you've reached this point in the video, you are undoubtedly on the path to recovery or have attained a level of indifference. Nevertheless, the narcissist remains an immutable factor in this cycle. As they age, they evolve into the aging narcissist, a sight far from appealing. A comprehensive exploration of this transformation is detailed in a distinct series titled The Aging Narcissist. It's a disheartening spectacle to witness as these individuals consume themselves. Ultimately, they become devoid of love, beauty, and abundance. They resemble an apple that once seemed attractive on the outside during their youth, but internally, it's riddled with worms and lava. This encapsulates the genuine nature of the narcissist, a reality acknowledged both by them and by you. The central message to take away is that your silence serves as a powerful advocate for yourself. It's time to conclude the chapter involving the narcissist take steps to block and remove them from your life, and firmly reject any endeavors at hoovering. The narcissist's sole objective is to entangle you in their manipulative schemes, perpetuating the cycle of abuse. The more individuals they ensnare in this harmful pattern, the more it serves their interests, and the more detrimental it becomes for you. Comprehend this pivotal point. I trust you gain valuable insights from this video. I genuinely relish the process of creating it, Regardless of your location in the world, may you have a splendid day or night. Remember, you are not alone. Embrace the potency of silence. You owe no one an explanation or defense. If you've experienced discard, my heartfelt sympathies extend to you. It's an immensely challenging ordeal, loving and trusting someone, anticipating their perpetual presence, only to be discarded and abandoned like a discarded scrap on a highway. Reflect on this. Once you gather yourself, shake off the pain, undergo healing, and decipher the patterns of the narcissistic abuse cycle, akin to finding a needle in a haystack. Once you embrace radical acceptance and reconstruct yourself, you emerge as a fortified version of your former self. You stand among the most resilient individuals on this planet, not in physical strength, but in mental, emotional, and spiritual fortitude. You genuinely are an exceptional human being. Revisit this video a few times and internalize that the narcissist tried relentlessly to bring you down, but their efforts were in vain. Rest assured 
they are facing similar failures with their new sources of supply as we speak. Here's a revelation you may not be aware of, which I'll share before concluding. Narcissists are fully conscious of their identity and actions. Furthermore, they never anticipated you uncovering their true nature, yet that's precisely what you've accomplished and continue to do. Regarding the new supply, there may either be another toxic narcissist, or hopefully, they will eventually discern the reality, otherwise, they risk succumbing to the trauma bond. Blessings to all of you. I hold each one of you in high regard. Let's reconvene tomorrow. Have an extraordinary day. Farewell.